Well, good morning. It's Crazy Cheap Chick. I'm back from the grocery store, so let me turn this camera around and show you what I found. I got some great bargains, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a little story. They had a really good price on milk this week, $2.59. But make sure you check that expiration date. You want to get the longest expiration date you can find. I try to really take my time and go through the clearance rack really take my time because a lot of things just get shoved to the back and there's a lot on there and i don't want to miss anything good and i almost overlooked that barbecue sauce up there um, marked way down when i got excited over this toothpaste probably the best deal on this clearance rack was in the back these two packages of cookie mixes i see lots of deals that i pass up like this um, fish. I don't like fish. I have lots of salsa. It's easy to make. And so I passed up all of this. But it might be something that you would enjoy. I'm trying not to buy too many processed salad dressings. But I did buy one package. I usually make my own. It's cheaper and I think it tastes better. And I do not need these desserts. So I passed them by even though they look pretty good. Now, look how much cut up broccoli is, $6.49. That's ridiculous. You can buy broccoli for $2.79 a pound and just cut it up yourself. It just takes a little bit of work. There's a good deal on these potatoes, 10 pounds for $4.99. That's cheaper than buying two five pound packages. And some of those potatoes are huge. Potatoes are a real budget stretcher because there's so many different ways that you can cook them. I grabbed a couple of avocados just because I love them. And this personal watermelon for $1.99, that's a great deal. Those are usually way more expensive. And uh, I think I got a pretty good one. Then make sure that you buy your corn in the husk. It'll last longer and it's way cheaper than buying it pre-packaged. I'm back from the grocery store and I spent $95.62 pre-tax. Now this first little group is things I paid full price for. Um, spinach was $2.29, this romaine lettuce was $2.99, my half and half was $5.49. We were out of coffee filters, they were $3.99. I've taken to buying this even more expensive bread than the bread that I really like because it only has 45 calories a slice and it has so much fiber in it five grams so two slices of this bread gives you five grams of fiber and i learned the hard way that if you don't eat enough fiber you have colon issues that's why i had to have a colon resection probably so i i really aim for 30 grams of fiber a day uh, this pepper was 99 cents actually i believe this was on sale and this was 79 cents, which is, I think it's a regular price. Avocados were 99 cents each. I live in Kansas, long way from things like avocado trees and orange trees. And so things tend to cost a little bit more here. These grapes actually were on sale for $2.49. And this next section is going to be sale section. So I got two ears of corn. They were 60 cents each. This bag of cuties, it was one of Dylan's weekly deals, and this bag was $2.99. I thought that was pretty good. Also, this milk was on sale. I think it was $2.49 or $2.39. I can't remember exactly. Um, John Wayne has taken to calling milk uh, bird flu juice. <laughs> and maybe that's why it's so cheap. I don't know. Um, I'm not too worried about it, though. This package of cheese was $1.85 after the loaded store coupon. Uh, two packages of they had chicken on sale this week, so this package was three sixty five and the other was three dollars and fourteen cents. This personal watermelon this is one of their deals, and I thought it was a pretty good deal. It was a dollar ninety nine if it tastes good. These graham cracker crumbs were only two dollars marked down. Swiss cheese was two fifty and these cheese slices were two fifty. I was completely out of sour cream, so I had to get some sour cream for $2.29. And these potatoes were $4.99 for 10 pounds. That's pretty cheap. Broccoli was $2.79. I found a package of toothpaste for $1.49. 
and a toothbrush for $1.31. And I think it had been like $4.99, probably because it's branded with that little tiny Jayhawk. I like to keep, we always get our toothbrushes from the dentist because we go every six months and they always give us a toothbrush. But I find it helpful to have toothbrushes on hand for when you have company and someone's forgotten a toothbrush, a grandkid usually. Um, these hamburgers were $5.60. I had to peel back the sticker. I paid $7.29, but it had been $11.22 for this steak, and I'll cut it off, and we'll have steak. Two sugar cookie mixes, $1.48 each. This oven roasted turkey was $2.16 a package. I got two packages. This dip was $3.23. This olive oil mayo. I don't like mayo, so I hardly ever use it. And it's expensive, but it was marked down to $2.47, so I got some. And then they had all these Chick-fil-A sauces for $2.02, and they had been $4.49. And I got three barbecue and a Polynesian. So that's what I got for my $95.62. I'm back on the diet wagon. I went to the doctor yesterday and got a pretty stern talking to about my pre-diabetes and high cholesterol. <laughs> She's like, you know, you don't have to get diabetes. So I'm, I'm going to try a little harder again. Um, we, are, we always have our fruit and yogurt, and sometimes toast for breakfast, so that's what this is. I've still got a lot of fruit from last week that we need to use up, mostly strawberries, and some pears that I got on the clearance rack for a buck. And for lunch today, I think we'll have a grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato soup, because I don't have any leftovers, and I don't feel like a salad. But most days, we have salad and leftovers for lunch it's just today is kind of dreary and gloomy and it's not chilly it's like 70 <laughs> but it feels like it <laughs> well i know we're gonna have steak and baked potato and i know we're gonna have hamburgers and i know that i'm gonna make probably a turkey wrap and then we've got two meals i can use chicken with maybe just baked chicken and rice or baked chicken and uh piece of this corn. Uh, there'll be a lot of potatoes to either go with, you know, I can make french fries or a baked potato to go with this steak. We can have roasted potatoes to go with the chicken, scallop potato, how many different mashed potatoes. I mean, the potato takes you a long ways, right? Um, and I may make, I don't know, a like butter chicken. That sounds really good to me. I haven't had it in a long time, even though it's high calorie. Um, and tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Sunday afternoon, my sister and all my kids are coming over and we're having another pool party and my son is going to smoke some pork and I'm going to provide some kind of potato dish. So that's what we're going to be eating this week. This will get us by. I mean, this is quite a bit of food for $95, honestly. guess we could have barbecued chicken. <laughs> We got a grilled cheese and some pears and oranges and tomato soup for lunch because of it, it's kind of a tomato soupy day well guys thanks for sticking around um there's not much new to report from kansas um i did get my porch goose up and i think she's super cute i dressed her in an outfit i bought at goodwill it was a baby outfit and uh baby costume and <laughs> Uh, it's kitschy, but I love it. I mean, I just think it's fun. My little granddaughter thought it was cute and um, she'll help me dress her and it'll be hopefully a really fun memory for her like I had with my grandma. Now, um, the big news is John Wayne and I went to a James Taylor concert last night, like a couple of kids. We were out till midnight on a Wednesday. And... Uh, <laughs> Everyone at the James Taylor concert was our age. I mean, it was just like a theater of white hair. And uh, I'm on a group text thread with three other friends and two of them are my age and one is about 20 years younger than us. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to the James Taylor concert. And one of my friends is like, I'm so jealous. And then the one who's 20 years younger is like, oh, that sounds like so much fun. Who's James Taylor? And... <laughs> 
So he's definitely, I guess, a performer from my era. I mean, he's 76 now, but he looks good. He looks good and he sounds good. And his son was on the concert with him too, Ben Taylor. So that was nice. And uh, I asked John Wayne when we got there, because we got there real early, like everyone else, since we're all old and didn't know where we were going. Uh, I said, can I go down front, get everyone's attention and just make a little announcement? Can I just say, look, we're all over 60. All of our knees hurt, our feet hurt, our backs hurt, our hips are out of place. Can we please not stand up during the concert? We paid for these seats. So can we please sit in them and not do this? I mean, aren't we past that? I mean, do it, do it from your seat. You can still wave, you can still sing, you can still yell, but uh, just do it from your seat because I don't want to stand up for two and a half hours. And for the most part, most people agreed with me. There were a couple of people trying to act 20, but uh, for the most part, we were a pretty uh, sedate crowd. And when the concert was over at 1030, we're all like, oh good, we can get home before midnight. And, uh, <laughs> but it was fun and it was beautiful weather and Starlight Theater in Kansas City is really, really pretty. And I can't show you any footage from the concert because um, YouTube will not monetize my videos if they have music in them. And so that's one of the reasons I'm not gonna make very much money this month is um, a couple of my grocery store videos, which are my big videos um, and did okay, they wouldn't monetize because in the background there was music over the intercom of the uh, grocery store. And so that's why you hear me doing a lot of voiceovers now on the grocery store stuff is I don't want to accidentally get a song in there that AI is going to crawl through and say, we can't monetize this. Well, actually they monetize it, but all the money goes to um, the song and now that I can actually be in contact with YouTube, because once you're monetized, you can um, email them or chat with them. And there, and I had used video on some of my music on some of my videos, and I'm like, yeah, but the program I use, Filmora, this is music authorized by them. And they're like, yeah, we don't accept it though. So just because you have a program that has authorized music doesn't mean that you can necessarily use it on YouTube. So anyway, that was a hard lesson that's costing me a little bit of money this month. Um, but live and learn, right? And uh, if you have not subscribed, I have to say, why not? Come on, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. Join the community, share your ideas to save money because I don't know about you, but I don't see prices going down. And uh, we need every idea we can come up with to keep our grocery bills down. Now you go out and find some bargains and I hope you have a good week and I'll talk to you soon. All right, I know everyone's gonna make fun of me, but I bought myself a Portuguese and I kind of love it. What do you think, Sparky? Now, before we went to the concert, I asked if John Wayne would take me down to the city market in Kansas City. There's a store down there that I like to visit called Planters, and it's a bulk seed and spice store. And uh, their spices are pretty inexpensive, plus they have spice mixes that you just don't find in the grocery store. I save a ton of money by buying my spices in bulk at this store. Now, you may not be near Kansas City, but does a big town near you have a bulk spice store? Oftentimes, Asian stores also have bulk spices, and uh, I just save a ton of money. Also, um, Amish or Mennonite stores often also have bulk spices or discounted um, products, so you might check those out in your area as well. Um, but if you're in Kansas City, make sure you go buy planters and check it out. You can get a lot of bulk spices and seeds at this store. This is Starlight Theater in Kansas City. It's really a beautiful place to watch an outdoor concert as you walk in. There's a lot of fountains because Kansas City is the city of fountains. They have over 200 fountains, in fact. Right place at the right time. It worked out all right. Gonna carry on with a song written by Buddy Holly.